Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Fortnite, I want to talk about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle quests, all of the quests in general, and what's going on in Fortnite. I don't know about you, but I'm getting my current Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles quest phase one and two fully finished. Now they're done. Okay, at time making this video. And we've moved on to phase three day and phase four day quests will come soon to collect all of the ooze, get the shredder skin, get all of the other like emotes and whatnot. If you're gonna buy the battle pass, get all the premium, like mini battle pass, get all the premium shredder skin loot and all that jazz. For now though, I'm just casually running the quests and I'm done phase one and two. It took me about two hours of actually playing the game to do that, and it wasn't actually that bad. So I want to talk about the general tips and tricks on what to do for getting the quest done, okay? It might be no surprise, but each time you join into the game, I'd recommend doing it on a either zero build or build non-ranked full squad public because when you run full squad publics right on non-ranked mode higher chance that you will get a bunch of random ai slash bot characters on the enemy team so you can quite easily just destroy a ton of the enemies right like that could have been a bot character we will never know could have been a real person too you usually can tell if they start spectating you sometimes uh, if you eliminate the team but other than that i don't think you like really know but the general idea how to get the quest done is every time focus one quest. That was me figuring out and finishing the EMP. I have to remember to use the uh, turtle sewers to travel every map. So it's just a lot of remembering to do each quest every time, right? So focus one quest and try to focus one quest every single time you get into the game. It'll just make it a lot easier. Try to focus on one that you can like actually actively control as well, such as like the hire a character one. It's pretty easy to go land near a character and hire them, one of the hireable characters at least, and then you should be go good to go from that. One of the quests was hire a character and have that character down an enemy so for that one you can down an AI enemy or you can choose to down a uh, AI enemy player character if you're running Publix and you find one. I ended up doing it hiring one of the worst AI uh, friendly characters because they just kind of shoot no explosives. I ended up doing it and finishing it in like two rounds just by finding like a crappy AI enemy character and they died, so it makes things a lot easier in that regard, okay? And then I just kind of ran around and started focusing another quest. So always be focusing one type of quest. Always try to remember what all of the other quests are, okay? Or else you might just uh, totally forget and blank. So try to remember what all of the quests are, mark one down, and just focus one quest at a time. It's not that hard as long as you're running Publix. The nice thing about running Publix is that you could get one part of a quest done and then one of your teammates could get another part of the quest done and it can count for you. So you both get multiple quests done all at once just by doing your own thing and by farming out certain quests. So the nice thing about the game is you can, with certain quests, get like shared quest progression. So it's always important to note. I think certain ones like uh, hit enemies with silenced weapons, I believe things like that, it has to be you hitting the enemy, but not all of the weapons, or sorry, not all of the quests require you to 100% finish them yourself. A lot of them can just be one of your friendly character friends, or I uh, not characters, but one of your friendly teammate friends. So yeah, you got a lot of options there. You can always focus on an easy one and then go from there. But at this point, yeah, the quests aren't actually that hard. They're pretty easy, all things considered. You can get them done in a handful of hours and, you know, maybe like three, four hours if you're slower at it at the hardest. It could take five, but as long as you just run Publix and the more phases are unlocked, the more quests that are unlocked, the more you can do at once, it does make it a little easier, so keep that in mind. All things considered, you should be okay. It shouldn't be like the hardest thing to run, but if you are having troubles, I don't know, maybe join up with someone, join up with a friend who's trying to do certain ones. The nice thing is like, here I got downed, and then I get picked up later on in the game, 
and then uh, we continue on getting more quests done. So that's just kind of how it is. Yeah, see, we got, ooh, that bonus, that character's done his bonus, good for him. Either way, that's just kind of how it goes, and I'm slowly gonna start getting my phase three and phase four quests done, right? You can see as popping it up here, just to check what's actually going on, what I still have to do. So yeah, let me know what you're up to in Fortnite, if you're getting these quests done pretty quickly or not. I appreciate everyone being here, subbing, following, and if you ever use Epic Games Creator Code Pupsker, I do appreciate it. I'm just like a little sick right now, so my voice is a little messed up, but uh, you know, it's not that bad, so I was just very casually playing some games, so if you ever stop by the Twitch stream or any of the other social medias, I do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you another time. Cheers.